What's up guys? I'm Shin Pirata. Share photo in SNS is more friendly with friends. Exactly. And we always take photo. Today I will be short. Short names us to share photos quickly with our friends. So please enjoy the video. So thanks for your time today. Pleasure. Yeah. Uh, so first, please tell me about your product easily. Okay. So Shoto is an app that lets you get the photos that your friends and family have taken. Uh -huh. So so many times we've been out, we've been on holiday, uh -huh. uh, we've been on trips. Uh -huh. this trip to Nevada uh, yeah. and um, we have some pictures that we've taken on our phone uh -huh. but we've been with friends yeah. and our friends have pictures but we never get to see them we ask them they may send us a couple of pictures on WhatsApp or WeChat uh -huh. they may put some pictures on Facebook but really we never get to see all the pictures they've taken so what Shoto does is it organizes your photos into an album or a trip uh -huh. it tells you who has pictures uh -huh. tells you how many they have and you can request them and so when you request the photos um, the other person gets a message saying Sachin wants to see the pictures from your trip to Las Vegas and then can share them back. So mm -hmm. it brings them into one album. So it's about photo getting. We, photo let, you getting. Get, yeah, we let you get the photos that your friends have taken. Mm. So it's, what's the uh, difference point uh, as, uh, from uh, other uh, photo sharing uh, services uh, like I said, yes, Facebook or something. So, so the biggest yeah. difference when you look at Facebook is everything is public to your 1,000 friends. Ah, friends. yeah, yeah. This is private. The second thing is Facebook is about you sharing. Hmm. This is about you getting the photos that your friends have taken. Ah. And sharing is just a part of the process. So when you request photos, so I recommend I request photos from you. Mm -hmm. It'll say to me that before I can request, I should at least share one. Mm. So we get everybody to contribute into the album and it becomes a shared album. Mm. Sorry, so why, where did you get this idea? So about two and a half, three years ago, uh -huh. I went on a road trip. So we sold our last company uh -huh. and I went on a road trip to Yosemite with 14 friends. 14 friends? Yeah, oh, everybody was taking pictures my. for three days. Um, there must have been five, six thousand pictures amongst the group. Uh -huh. And uh, came to the end of the trip. And everybody asked that question, how am I going to get the pictures? So one person put it on Dropbox, no one really downloaded, uh, no one submitted their own pictures, a couple of pictures went to Facebook, uh -huh. but most people have said, I don't want my pictures online. Okay. And so we never got to see the picture. And so I turned to my friend and I said, you know, we can send man to the moon, but we can't seem to solve photo sharing. Uh -huh. And so then we went on this long journey uh, for the last three years in building, this is the fifth version of the app. Really? And Four versions we built with the wrong version. We, we built an app that got you to share. Mm. But we realized that most people don't want to do private sharing mm. because there's no dopamine. So instead we said, instead of sharing, this is about getting. Mm. This is about getting the pictures that you, you don't have, that you'd really want to see. Um, and so if I tell you that a friend has pictures from yesterday or from last night, and you just got to click a button to get them, why would we do it? product a like use case sure so the use case is like this um, one example is you go on a trip with your friends yeah four days you're going out of Tokyo and you're you're, uh, you're taking the train to Osaka and you're gonna you're gonna, gonna chill out there for the long weekend mm. four of you you're walking around the temples you're taking pictures you go to the flea market you're taking pictures you're having uh, street food you're taking pictures. yeah yeah, yeah. And then you come back to Tokyo and everyone's like, oh, send me that picture, send me that picture. And, you know, uh, yeah, exactly. some guy might send one photo, might send two. In Shoto's case, you simply go in and you're like, oh, I want to see that picture. So you see here, it says mm -hmm. Puja has 22 pictures. 
I tap on it. Mm -hmm. It says to request the photos Pooja has, you've got to share some. So mm -hmm. it's a request. And now that request has gone through. Mm -hmm. And instantly, the request has gone through. So you'll see now Pooja mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. becomes requested. Request. And you'll see 228 photos of mine. Mm -hmm. And I've received 120 pictures already. Oh my but, god, really? So those all come into one album. Mm -hmm. So I can tap into the album and I can see all the pictures that are coming. Oh. But I can also see who submitted them. So it becomes really powerful. So that's one use case. Yeah. The second use case is you're doing an event. Event. So imagine it's someone's birthday. Yeah. Um, and I have an example of a birthday album. So I go back and I go birthday. This is a friend of mine, Robert. He had a birthday party over the weekend. Mm -hmm. You tap into it and you'll see there's 577 photos from his birthday. Mm -hmm. So he created the event. Mm -hmm. We give him an event code. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, all the photos from the event code go into one album. Really? Including through Twitter and Instagram. Mm. So all in one place. Oh. So that's the second use case. And then um, the third use case is really for you to see your own pictures. We organize them in a much more meaningful way. So if you use Android, the gallery app is, is nice, but it's not very organized. Mm. Um, similarly with the iPhone photo app, what we do is we take that and we make it super structured. So it's a mm. trip mm. Uh, or it's an album. And so that way you can search, you can see, you see all the albums around it. Mm. So it's both uh, getting the photos you don't have, mm -hmm. getting the photos around an event, and then seeing them in a, in a really simple journal. So you are from uh, London? Yes. Yeah, so uh, please tell me about your uh, founding story from London to San Francisco. So yeah. I, uh, I came here with our last startup that we yeah. sold in 2012. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that, I moved, the US was the last place we came to, San Francisco yeah. was the last place. So when we sold it, I went back to London and I said, oh, we're going to do another one. Mm -hmm. We were very excited and I said, this time we're going to start in San Francisco. Uh -huh. So uh, I came here in Jan 2013 yeah. um, and we've been working on it since. Really? Uh, the team is both here and in India. Oh. India is our second biggest market. Ah, exactly. And in fact, we have a, we have quite a few users in Japan. Oh really? Yes. You you are marketing in Japan too? Yeah. Well, so we've been downloaded in uh, at least I think four or five cities in Japan. Oh really? Already, yeah. So we started seeing people download and use it there. Cool. Uh, and our plan is that by the end of February we'll have a Japanese version. Oh really? Um, we already have Mandarin. Um, we have French, Spanish. And Hindi and Arabic. Uh -huh. uh, we're going to do um, Korean and Japanese by the end of February. Cool. So just a good translation so that the app makes sense. Okay. So finally, please tell me about your dream. Yeah. So um, our dream is really our foundation. So yeah. we have this goal to educate 100 million children below the poverty line, mm. and uh, to use technology to use photography, video, augmented mm. reality, virtual reality to allow kids uh, to you know, improve their standard of life, mm. to be able to learn. And we believe that by investing in education, we have the ability to find the next leaders of tomorrow mm. um, from, from the backgrounds that typically we would have done. Cool. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you so much. Thank you.